Hey everyone, welcome to episode 1 of our statics engineering course. And today we're going to be talking about something quite simple, which are support systems. And this would be very useful for anyone taking static engineering. So if it's your first time static engineering student, I highly recommend that you pay attention to this video. So our first support, well, let's go over the few support systems that we'll encounter and what they look like, their properties, and why they're important. So we're going to be discussing what a roller is. We're also going to be discussing what a pin is. And then a pin or um, some people like to call it a hinge. And then finally we're going to be talking about a fixed support. Okay, so let's start with each of these images. So if you were to look at a structure, you would see that a roller is, you know, we have a beam attached to two rollers. So these are essentially circles. And that's all there is to it. So these are what the rollers are here these red uh, circles. Okay. Fill that in a little bit. Okay, and then now if we were to move to the hinges. Okay. So these hinges, usually when they're drawn in engineering, kind of like triangles. So you have the hinge, and then you have another hinge. Again, attached to the ground. Okay. And then here you have a fixed support. So a fixed support is essentially a beam that is attached to a wall. So this is the wall. And then you have your beam right here. And then you have another wall over here. Okay. So let's talk about the roller. Now the roller is one dimensional support, meaning that if I were to have a roll over here and then there's a beam, which is gonna pay attention to like half of it, and you have the the ground that is resting on this roller is gonna be supported in this direction only, okay? Now, this is what we call a reaction. Now for the pin, we have something similar. So if we're gonna draw the pin, again, pay attention to half of it. Then we have the ground and the pin. It's actually gonna be supported in two direction. So it's a two dimensional support system. We have the reaction coming off the ground and we have a reaction in the horizontal direction, which is um, restricting any translational movement. So this pin over here cannot be free to roll around like this like this guy over here right so this one is basically set in stone not allowed to move but it is actually allowed to rotate so this has the freedom to rotate that's quite simple so here are 
another reaction reaction okay and now we'll go to the fix a point which will be rather simple so we have a wall a beam look at half of it so we're only paying attention to this half and if you notice the reactions here are going to be in this direction in this direction and also in this direction so what does this mean basically mean so we have reaction reaction and reaction this means that this piece over here cannot move whatsoever it is fixed it is stuck so if I were to draw a little bit bigger version this beam and this wall must remain at 90 degrees at all time and that's all there is to it so these are basically the support systems and that's all there is to it i hope you learned something from this video give this video a like comment subscribe share it for some more episodes thank you